What's going on, YouTube? All right. Got a few things in the mail today. Not much, just a couple. Couple, what, two boxes. Um, here's what happens when you buy from Japan. You get the Japanese news. I wonder how many of my viewers can read that. Anyways, that's a mighty big box for what he sent. So it's very well packed. I'm typically not a huge fan of using newspaper as packing material. Plastic bags are much better because you can mold them into uh, the nooks and crannies and crevices to get whatever it is you're shipping well protected so it's not shifting around in the package. And plastic bags are free. You can buy, or buy, you can just go into Walmart self-checkout, throw your crap in your bag, and then take a couple of the, I don't know, what are they called? It's like a ream of bags, we'll call it. Anyways, so this is the car that I've been waiting on, looking forward to the most. I have another one that I'm really looking forward to also, but this is the closest thing in the 1 to 64 scale to what I drive. in real life and I can already see something that looks kind of questionable you can probably see it too the uh, weather stripping along the or across the bottom of the the glass there's a gap there so let's take it out and see if that's something that can be touched up this is a Kyosho <clears throat> it's a lot more premium Then the other Kyoshos I have, which come in soft, uh, basically plastic, almost like blister material. This is an actual like acrylic, but that is a one to 64 scale Toyota Land Cruiser 200. And I've been looking and looking and looking and looking for something like this or something close to it. I actually have the Lexus LX470, so not uh, not the same thing. And mine's a little bit older. It's a generation before this one. But this is close. It's the closest thing out there that I know of. If any of you know of something in the 1 to 64 scale closer, Please do let me know so I can buy it. I should have got the gold one because that would match my color. But uh, I just thought this one looked so much better. The base on this, that is by far and away the most detailed base on any of my Kyoshos. You do have rubber tires with tread. You've got the OEM factory Toyota wheels. I wonder if this is OEM paint. Insert lens headlights. No opening hood or anything like that, but yeah, the window is not real noticeable unless you're looking at it from a from a lower angle. Lensed brake lights with what looked to be Tampo reverse lights on it. So very, very cool truck. Really happy to have it. it. Wow, it's an awesome roller. I'm very picky when it comes to that. I hate getting a nice car and then it's the wheels are all log jammed. So that is super dope. I love that car. Go right next to the FJ. <clears throat> All right. So there's that. And then I got a box here from my guy. Uh, 
I'm not gonna. Okay, a lot of you guys have been asking me who I've been getting my customs from. And uh, it's kind of weird that people ask me, where do you get your customs from? Because I don't get customs. I only have, I have maybe two or three, and I've only bought one new custom in the last, probably the last year, which is this Fair Lady 2000. The guy's work is pretty amazing. Uh, it's really, really good quality. He reattaches the base with the button head so it looks real clean. There's no epoxy or JB weld going on. But let's open up this box and take a look at what we got here. I have not seen these yet in person. <clears throat> I do have plans with at least one of these, if not both. <coughs> And uh, I will, if you guys want his information, DM me on Instagram and I'll get it to you because he will, if you have something you want, he has the, uh, the ability to print up his own tampos and he can, he does all of that stuff and it's, it's crazy. Oh my God, that is so amazing. That is so amazing. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so here's the mainline Fair Lady 2000 casting. It's a new casting, new tool for Hot Wheels. I think they just brought out the recolor, <clears throat> which is more of a bluish gray color, I think, or a greenish gray. I don't know what it is about this little casting that I like so much. I think it's way off on scale. It should be a lot smaller, but it's just got really killer lines to it. Just a really cool little car. I've been kind of hoarding this main line, so I probably have about 20 of these. Anyways, that's what it started with. And then he did this with a couple of Porsche Porsches. And when I saw this, when he posted it up, I was like, hey, I, I wouldn't mind having that. Is it available? And he's like, yeah. So I hit him some PayPal and he sent it to me. And then when I got it and saw how nice it was, I asked him, hey, can you make me a Brock version of it? Brock Racing Enterprises. B-R-E. And I think he mixes his own paint, too. So he gets an effect that, I mean, uh, just look at that. That is unbelievable. That is so killer. You got the black side view mirrors. All the detail on the front. He tapes off all the paint. It's all legit i mean there's no no messing around with it brake light detail so anyways i i hollered at him i'm like yeah make me a brie one and so he sends me a picture of it <clears throat> he's like yeah it's coming along i'm like all right cool looks really good then he sent me another picture and said hey i'm doing this one too would you want would you want it also <clears throat> and of course like i can't say no when i see how nice it looks so i take it out of the acrylic here Wow, that's just incredible. The quality of his work is incredible. Here's the blue one. Oh, 
And I mean, can you find flaws on these? You probably can. I know there are those people. There's that one guy that, that thumbs down all of my videos, no matter what. There's always somebody who's going to nitpick. But I'll tell you what, I see less flaws on this than I do on most Hot Wheels. And that blue color is a color that he made just by mixing. I don't know how he got it, but... Oh, man. So there you go. You got a Brock Racing team. So here you go. It's Boogie... E7 Customs. <clears throat> He's on Instagram. If you uh, if you're you have a sports team that you like, or um, I I'm not sure. I've seen a lot of people now. I even know a couple people that are doing customs with um, basically pictures. So you could do like a family photo and put it on a dairy delivery. I'm not sure if if he does stuff like that. I'm sure he could. But uh, if you have something, a theme or, a, or something that you want to see done, he can definitely do it. Um, he does charge for these. And uh, for being, I'm not going to lie, for being amateur, like a, not a very well-known customizer, they're, they're kind of pricey. However, I, I feel absolutely like they're worth it i feel that the quality i think it's a bargain because to get like a box man custom is 100 150 um to get uh who are some of the other guys that are like the intermediate not like the uh, chris walkers but um there's a lot of people that do good work but uh, yeah, man, I'm glad that uh, that I came across this guy. He's super cool too, super nice, easy to deal with. He ships, he packs very well. He ships really fast. Anyways, <clears throat> where I was going with this, I have to figure out which one I want to do it on. I may end up doing it on both, but I was thinking on the blue one. Putting some uh, like Goodyear's. Since they're just little button head screws on the bottom, you can screw the base off and screw it right back on. But we may have an issue with the wheels fitting. I think they'll work, but they might be snug. I don't know. I'll have to give it a try. But anyways, that's uh, that's what I wanted to show tonight. I wasn't expecting these today. I was kind of thinking it'd be tomorrow or, or Saturday. But just incredible work. They look so much better in person than they did in the pictures. I can't wait until Greenlight starts putting out their Brie Nissan stuff in July. I think Brock Racing had some of the best racing livery. So there you go. I'm going to uh, wheel swap one of these. And then after I do that, I will post some pictures up on Instagram. I think that the two Breeze are going to be coming off of the bases, though. Those are going to be going in the carney top shelf all right everybody thanks for checking out the video please subscribe if you haven't please check me out on instagram if you're not on instagram please check out instagram if you're a diecast enthusiast and you're not on instagram you are missing out so definitely check it out and until next time I will holler at the next video.